I actually My made the honeycomb last night, it. so oh. very fresh. That sounds even better. Good morning, you lovely lot. And you join me for another video in Shrewsbury Town. And I got the legs out today. It's three degrees, just gone past nine o'clock in the morning. And I will not accept that it's not summer yet. We're coming towards the middle of April now. And I really think that we should be getting some more higher temperatures, but unfortunately not. But you join me in Shrewsbury for another video. And the subject of today's video is we're gonna have a little no-cut vlog walk round Fair in the Square, made in Shropshire market. It's the first week after lockdown that this market's been open in the square. So I thought what a lovely experience for us to go along and have a little look at what the market's like. It's early in the morning, I thought I'd come extra early just so we can try and avoid most of the crowds. It's an outdoor market, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we can have a lovely little relaxed, safe walk around a Shrewsbury market, a quintessential English market. And we're just gonna walk up a little part of Shrewsbury here. I'll show you ahead of me, all before I go run over. Now the market should be open as of making this video. If it's not, it's a no-cut vlog, so it could be uh, over before we even know it. <laughs> but it's nine o'clock, apparently it opens. It's about quarter past nine now. So I'm fingers crossed it is gonna be open. And we're gonna go through a little passageway. Here we go. Let's avoid the high street. Let's go up this little hidden passageway, shall we? Well, I say hidden. We're trying to make it sound more exciting than it really is. <laughs> Many people walk up here. This is a well-known passageway in Shrewsbury. Maybe somebody watching can leave a comment below and tell me what it is. As you all know, for long-standing viewers, I am absolutely terrible with my, with my place names. Little shop there, pockets. For your fancy clothes, and already I can see a market stall. Right, let's go straight into the market, see if we can talk to some people. I could get blanks, who knows? There's a no-cut vlog, so all the mistakes are staying in. That's our first look at the market there. Let's have a little look what we got. Good morning. <laughs> How are you this morning? <laughs> you got your mouth full? <laughs> what are you eating, anything nice? <laughs> You'll tell me in a minute. <laughs> oh, very nice. Mm, it does look good. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about what you guys sell. Well, it's just me. Just yourself, yeah. okay. Um, oh, sorry. Everything you take your time, don't worry. <laughs> Every gun stall I make myself. Oh, wow. They're all completely handmade. Oh, I don't make the material. Yes, yeah. Uh, waistcoats I make to order, as well as what I've got inside. Wow, those are some fancy waistcoats. That's one for my dad, if he's watching. He loves his uh, flamboyant yeah. clothes. So what, what, what's all this for? Is it just your own entertainment? Yeah, just my own entertainment, yeah. Just me trying to occupy myself, um, trying to just be, I suppose, getting out into the community, seeing what things are like. Obviously, this is the first market that's been it on is. since lockdown. Um, so how yeah, have we you... Did, we did do a couple back end of last year. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. How did you find that? That was all right, because that was the run up to Christmas. Again. Yes, yeah. Oh, not too bad. So these kind of replace the traditional Christmas market kind of thing, I guess. Oh, we did do the Christmas one. Oh, okay. I think we did, yeah. Oh, yes, you did, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah you did do Christmas one, yeah. market, yeah. And how's it been, obviously, in the break that we've just I know, had? Because I predominantly do um, music festivals, and so... Oh, okay. Uh, they've all, even this year, they're all uh, coming in... Yeah. Cancelled this year as well. But it's good to be back. You're happy to be back. Oh, I'll tell you at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, fingers crossed. You get a bit of foot traffic and hopefully yeah, yeah. get a bit of profit. Yeah, so they said there's bow ties, ready-made ones. Make do your own. And you're going to have to um, give me a bit more information about when the market's actually on. This market is the Made in Shropshire. Yeah. They moved it because of the change of the dates. COVID. Yes, Made yeah. in Shropshire is always the second Saturday of the month. Second Saturday of the month. Okay, guys, if you want to come to Made in Shropshire, there with second the Saturday. Plants, yeah. He, um, he's probably got might have some leaflets with our dates and things. Okay, fantastic. If, if not, go on to um, go on to Facebook. Yeah. And look at um, go on, on to Made in Shropshire. And have a look at that. You'll find all the details on there. Fantastic. What was your name? I'm Trish. Trish, my nice to meet you, Trish. Is, business is candy designers. Fantastic. My name's Brendan. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Good to see you back. Here all makes their own stuff. Fantastic. All I appreciate yeah. the info. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers, then. Right, let's have another little look around, shall we? See what other stuff we can see. Oh, we've got some food. I might even get some food this morning, actually, and do a little taste test for you guys, maybe. Good morning. Hi. How are you this morning? All right? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. All these look like some nice treats. Yeah. Are these all homemade, are they? Uh, made at the uh, bakery. Okay, and where's your bakery situated? Uh, Litchfield. Oh, right, okay, lovely. 
Put some uh, Stilton and Walnut Focaccio. How do you, how do you pronounce that? Focaccia. Focaccia? Okay, yeah. there we go. Let <laughs> me learn a bit of uh, Italian, is it? Yes, I, I believe so. So tell me a little bit about your stall. Um, it's a family-run business yeah. um, from Staffordshire, and we have got a shop and cafe in Litchfield, and then we come out and do the farmers markets. And this is obviously the first event. time back in Shropshire, isn't it? Well, Shrewsbury. Uh, no, it has sort of been here and there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know last week was going to be on, but it wasn't on. Yeah, it's too surprising, so you can see this market wasn't on last week. Uh, on the website, it said it was going to be. Oh yes. Yes. It's yeah. The second Saturday. Yeah. But it got moved to this week, I think. Because of the because dates the and stuff. Will be open, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And then everyone okay. that's not essential can come back. That okay. And what's the name of the business? Pine Liz. Pine Liz. Okay. Fantastic. I might come back for a bit of a sweet treat later on. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right then. How am I doing with this no cut vlog so far, guys? Tell me in the comments below. Is it painfully awkward? Could be. We're going to roll with it anyway. What else we got here? Got some handbags. No fancy a handbag. Good morning. We've got some jewellery here. Handmade silver jewellery. Paintings. I actually went to a similar market to this called the Farmer's Market a few months back. I'll leave a little link up in the description of this video. Description, at the top of this video, should I say. Um, trying some of the beautiful food that this market has to offer. And I'm determined to try and get some food in my belly this morning. And I can smell something absolutely lovely already. What have we got? smell pork. Pork o'clock, is it? Mm. As Harold Boulder would say. Here. I can smell pork, but I can't see pork yet. Good morning. Good morning. Scotch eggs, what the looks of it. Sounds like a winner. Good morning. Good morning. How are, how are you? you doing? I'm very good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good, good. We've got meat. Good morning. How are you? I'm very good. It's good to see you guys here this Saturday. Yes, nice to be back. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. So we're covering, you know, your breakfast with your sausage and bacon. Okay. Pop round for an ice cream. Oh wow! Pizza. And you're actually cooking some as well. Is that's that for your? Me. That's for your own stomach. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's a shame. That's what I could smell walking around. I was yeah. walking around here thinking I could yeah. smell some pork and some bacon. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> so this is the finished product. You show people what they can actually have. Quality assurance. Quality <laughs> that's good. That's good. So, what's the name of the business? It's Muckleton Muckle Meats. Meats. Yeah, we're okay. Farmers up the top of the Hope Valley. Oh wow. Okay. And this is just the base of the whole range: sausages, bacon. Yep. And we also make ice cream because we have Jersey cows. Ice cream. Yeah. And is that being served today? It is. Is it? When can you have that? Now? Yeah. I might come back in a bit and have some of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, an ice cream. What do you think? I'm wearing the shorts. I've got the milk bottles out. Hmm, kind of fits, doesn't it? Having an ice cream on a sunny day, even if it is three or four degrees. What else have we got here? Got... Good morning. How are you? All right? Good, good. Tell us a little bit about your stores. It's quite interesting. Is it all handcrafted stuff, is it? Everything here is handcrafted. Wow, market. okay. Is this your first time here? Because I haven't seen you at the market before, but maybe I've just been... We've been doing it for... Have you? Oh, maybe I just haven't seen you before then. <laughs> well, my name's Brendan. Nice to meet you both. I do sometimes a little a few videos around Shropshire, just like showing a few things. I'm doing a no cut vlog today, um, so there's no strictly no cuts in this video. So I'm going to hopefully try and show people the market without cutting in between. So if there's any awkward silence, then it's going to go in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your business, anyway. So, um, I do the ceramics. Yeah. Um, I wood. Yeah. Just, yeah. Okay. And where are these made? Um, we're just outside Telford. Oh, okay. So very local to Shropshire then. That's good to hear. What's the name of the business? Bergen Bloomfield. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I might pop back later on. Appreciate it. That's nice to be out, actually. It's nice coming this early in the morning and not having loads of crowds and having to always constantly think about social distancing. You can just relax a little bit. I can imagine in about an hour or two, because this is the first market that's been on in the square after lockdown. It's probably going to get quite busy. Not to say that you shouldn't come later in the day, but uh, I think preference should be in the morning, in my own personal opinion. What's we got here? Oh, wow. I wonder if these are all handmade. Good morning. Hello. Just thought I'd uh, have a little look at your stall. Looks quite interesting. Is this all handmade, is it? Or? It is all handmade. Oh, wow. These are some incredible craft here. Is it by yourself? Yes. Oh, brilliant. Nice to meet you. Anyway, my name's Brendan. I just thought I'd have a little walk around the market this morning. 
there's some to do still holders, um, especially since this is the first market after the latest lockdown. Is this um, the first time here, or have you been here before? Uh, no, I have been here before. I've been here for a few, a few years. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Good to be back. Very good. Yeah, I bet it yeah. is, yeah. yeah. Obviously with the weather as well, so it's nice yeah, and shiny. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful weather, good market, yeah. nice piece. Good, yeah. good. What's the um, the most extravagant piece of uh, art, I would call it, on this stall today? What are you most proud of? Um, I like the badger stuff. Yeah? Yeah. How long does something like this take to make? Um, well, the, the larger pieces, obviously, Longer, yeah. But I work in batches, so like the mice with the daisies, they'd be done in like a, a batch of four or six. Okay. Whereas the larger pieces I work on kind of independently. Wow. So the short answer is it's difficult. How long is the business for you? That's very impressive. Yeah. That's incredible. What was your name? Julie Shaw. Julie Shaw. Brendan, nice to meet you. Um, thank you for the chat, I appreciate it. Right, let's have another little look around here, shall we? Julie, handcrafted little ornaments there. Looks uh, rather impressive, actually. Okay, what else have we got? We've got some furniture. I did try and do a no-cut vlog, but actually I did do a no-cut vlog uh, a few weeks back, but unfortunately I was trying to do the market as well and incorporate that, but it was cancelled last week. So the vlog I put up, I've now since taken down, I've unlisted it because it wasn't as engaging as I was, as I was hoping for it to be. Obviously, walk around a little market here. We can see a few more things instead of my face all the time, yabbing on about crap. <laughs> good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine, thanks. Good, good. Just having a little look around the market this morning. Yeah. Are these um, are these made by yourself? Everything. Everyone in the market has to have made their stuff. So themselves. that is the criteria this for the market, made in Shropshire yeah. Fair in the Square. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. everything I see today yeah. is all produced by the storeholder. Yes. And okay. You can't actually just go and buy some beads and put them on a bit of string so you've made it. You need to have made beads. Okay, right. So it goes down to the finer detail. Yeah. Wow. Some of these have got some really incredible details on it. Thank you. From photo yeah, to sculpture. Yeah. So would someone give you a photo of, say, their favourite pet, whether yeah. it be a dog or a cat, and then you would then go ahead and yeah. kind of re-sculpt that? Mm. Wow. Yeah, with a bit of info about their personality as well. Yes. That's rather interesting. All the paintings as well. Yeah, they're all ceramic as well. When I'm out of the camper van, I'm sketching away, then come back and get... you got a camper van? Yeah. Oh, I love a bit of van life. I do love watching those videos on YouTube, band life videos. <laughs> oh dear, there was something on Mama's hour about people who just gave up their homes and I thought, could that be me? Yeah. I'm going for a week down to South Wales next week to look into galleries. Oh nice, yeah. yeah so. and I always get the sudden urge just to kind of get a camper van and just go exploring yeah. wherever and whenever. But um, I haven't taken a leap of faith yet. It's good, for, there's two sides. I mean, sometimes you, you just think where I'm sleeping tonight. Because um, I don't always to pay for a campsite. So no. they're quite expensive. I yeah. know they've got a lot of living. Um, so you're thinking, where can I stay, where can I stay, and then where can I walk the dog? What's the most scenic side of the road? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, that's what I fancy. Where can I jump? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you don't always park up something that way. No. no. It's a nice, nice life. That's good. What's the most extravagant part of your stall today, would you say? I'm looking for something that's really eye-catching. What are you particularly proud of today? Um, I suppose it's the newer thing, so there's the glazes that I've developed on the landscapes. So oh, wow, it's OK. like turquoise. Even though when you go to Wales, that's it, doesn't, a lovely it doesn't look like... Yeah, I mean, that's... Um, what was that? In Pembroke. And anyway. you take that from an image, do you? Mm. Oh, wow, yeah, I'll okay. I'll sketch. Um, that's what I do when I'm going in the van. I'll, I'll pull over and I'll do a sketch, and I get back and put it all So, on wherever the sketch. inspiration takes you, right, yeah. I'm doing a little bit here kind of thing. Yeah. That's quite interesting. I actually met a lady in the, uh, the market hall a few months ago. I did another little video in there, actually. Um, an elderly lady on the top who used to do some stained glass. Oh, yes, I think I've seen that. Yeah, the yeah, yes. market's lovely now, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's open again. I think there's a lot of uh, things they've introduced with the social distancing that makes it much more safe to go inside now, which mm -hmm. is good. Um, but yeah, no, I really appreciate you having a little chat about your store anyway. Right. And what was your name in the business? Uh, Madeline Vale. Madeline Vale, okay. I appreciate that. My name's Brendan. Nice to meet you. And uh, good luck with today. Thank you. All right, no worries. I wonder how this no vlog or no edit vlog is going, should I say? But yeah, come. I'll have a look in the edit and see um, how awkward I, I look. <laughs> but this is the making of a vlog. This is the behind the scenes and also the vlog itself. So you get to see everything today. 
some conversations sometimes can run really fluently, some can go a bit dead, some can have to be picked up um, to kind of ignite the conversation again. I suppose that's all part of my journey at the start of my career, I guess, trying to be presenter, YouTuber, vlogger, whatever you want to call me. I think it's um, really good actually to kind of show you guys all of the journey that I'm going through instead of just showing you the nice little polished bits of a vlog. I can actually show you everything that I'm going through, all the training that I'm trying to put myself through. And I think this forces me to kind of get out there and actually not stall or not stop speaking or just keep on talking. There's always something to talk about in Shrewsbury. Let's have a little look down here, shall we? No, that's closed. That's an easy way to get kicked out before we've even uh, gone through the market. Right, let me go through the middle of the market and see the other stalls because we're walking around the same bit that we just walked about. But I'm determined to make this a no-cut vlog. Is there? Yes, there is. Right, let's have a little walk down the middle because as we are walking through here again, it's slightly getting a little bit more busy. And just as we walk past, actually, it's a rather interesting little piece in the square. This city, hmm. never heard Shrewsbury be referred to as a city before. Rather interesting. What else have we got around here? Got some slumped glass, no idea what that is. Good morning. I remember I talked to you last time, you I believe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Heather's Harvest, isn't it? Right, yeah. yeah, I'm very good. How are you? Yeah, really well, thank you. Good, to good. Back good to be back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I bet in a couple hours it's going to be really, really busy. I hope so. Fingers crossed, but yeah. The sun comes into our area, it's all down the front. It never does, it never does, because you've got tall buildings to go Well, that's the shame we've been underneath a canopy. Mm. Yeah, you don't get the sun, do you? Yeah. I've got yeah, the legs out this morning, I thought I'd try and get it in the sun. That's it. I know this is the first um, market that's been on uh, since the latest lockdown. Uh, most of the I've been here the last couple of months. Yes, yeah, yeah. Has there been many markets that have been going on since? I don't think there has been, has there, since the start of the year? We've had uh, three of them. Three of them. Which one has been going on? The only percent only, so it's only. Oh, OK. So the craft side of things. The craft side of things, because it's not a central, it's not a central business. No, no, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you've been trying to get out and about a little bit um, since? Well, we've been busy in the fact because our mind's gone mental. Oh, right, okay. Um, so we've been really busy. Well, that's good to hear. At least you've got the obvious pick up from the online side of things yeah, as well. Really but it's good to see you back actually in the market and doing a, a market, obviously, with people coming up and being able to it's buy wherever they want. Family is what it is. Yeah, 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 it's good. Family. It's nice to see Shrewsbury back to life actually. Yeah, and um, not as busy as I was, I was fearing it could be. People are kind of being sensible. I think it starts later, than not it? 10, 11 o'clock, because um, yeah. most of the people are at 10. Oh, right, okay. So people are slow, they're slow at coming in. Yes, yeah, okay. Free parking? Yeah, so they'll do free parking from 11 as well, so that's oh, that's good. people have moved back in a little bit as to when they'll be coming in. Ah. Well, I'll have to look at more of that then. All this week, the time's been here. Yeah, like, it's just definitely getting people are coming out. Yeah, it's definitely getting people are coming out. Yes, that's good. That is good. Yeah. And people are, people are showing me are quite loyal to the market anyhow. Oh, yeah, they're going to shop anywhere, shop here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ladies, I wish you luck with the best of the day anyway. Nice to see you again. Bye. See you later. Okay, so that's Heather's Harvest. I actually uh, had a little chat with that lady in the previous video I did in the market at the Farmer's Food Market. What else we got? Well, I think I've made a decision on what I'm gonna have today. It's gonna be an ice cream for sure. Good morning. Hello. Nice to see you again. I had your curry last time. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Good to see you back. Lovely lady there. I had a goat curry from her last time. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's get myself an ice cream. Do a little uh, taste test of this, shall we? Okay. So we've got honeycomb, vanilla, stem ginger. Right, I'm gonna have one of your ice creams, I think. Do you think it's a bit early for an ice cream? What do you think? No, never, never too early. <laughs> I'm going to go oh, for a... Uh, what have we got? What's the options? Obviously, you've got the flavours. Yep, so stem ginger, yep. berries, honeycomb, I'll go for... Can you mix up the scoops? Yeah, can. Oh, Absolutely. you go a bit uh, dangerous here then. I'll go for a scoop of vanilla mm -hmm. and a scoop of your honeycomb, please, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Contactless all good, yeah? Absolutely. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, if it's, if it's muscle, David. Is 
it is in South Africa. I actually like made the honeycomb last music. night, so oh. very fresh. I have kidney problems. That sounds even better. I'm down both legs. I'm going to Thank you very much. Yeah. I'll pop it down there and what I'll do is I'll yeah. just, that's fine. And then I'll just pay for it. Yeah, sure. And I'll make sure I turn the camera away on this no-cut vlog. Make sure I don't put my bank details out there. That'll be the <laughs> first faux pas of this morning. <laughs> well, I was thinking somebody else can do better with your account than you can. Then. That's so. it, yeah. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Like instant. 250 is it? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Sounded good. All gone through? Perfect. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay. And what I might do is actually, I might just pop this yep. on here, mm -hmm. if that's okay with you. Yes. So you can eat it. So I can have a little taste test of okay. it. And then. Is that good? It is. I'm just making sure I don't cut. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now we're rolling. <laughs> That's it, right, okay. Let's give a little try of this. This is the honeycomb. Okay. Oh, that is nice. Do you know what? I haven't tasted ice cream in so many months now. It's just been so cold. Yeah. It's a little nice bit to it. Oh, it's beautiful. Because Thorntons has just closed, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, that's an unfortunate yeah. sight to see on the high street. I don't make their ice cream though. No. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Honeycomb, very good. Now, Thank you. I am going to move away from your store in a minute. Okay. So as to not scare away the customers in my camera. No. No. Vanilla lovely as well. Thank you. I'm going to go and enjoy this okay. somewhere. Yes. Thank you very much for that. Warm a little bit to get more flavour as it warms. Oh, okay. I'll take that as a bit of advice then. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. And there we go. Got a pot of ice cream. Got a look around the market. Talk to a couple of people. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's been somewhat engaging for you guys. I hope. Um, maybe it hasn't been. I don't know. But I'm putting it up anyway in hope that you'll leave me some feedback below and tell me what you think of this no-cut vlog. I think the more I do, the more fluent I'll be. I don't think there's been much dead air. I don't think there's been many fluff words in this. How long I've been filming for? 20 minutes, wow. That's um, pretty good going, Brandon, well done. But yeah, that is Fair in the Square, uh, made in Shropshire Market on, you're gonna have to go back in the video. I would refer to my notes at this point and tell you exactly when it's on. But I know a lady with much more knowledge than I have mentioned when it was on. So I implore you to go back and uh, have a look at when it's actually on so you can come here yourself. I would definitely recommend coming in the morning as opposed to midday, because as you could see, just as we were leaving the market, it started to get very busy. Um, that's just my own personal preference. I prefer to walk around the market during these current times anyway, with a lot less crowds. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this off camera. You've seen my taste test, beautiful ice cream. Hopefully I'll have a bit more ice cream as the uh, summer months come in. And um, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Leave a comment below, tell me what you think. Also check out the Shrewsbury Farmers Market that I did a few months back last year, which is a beautiful market, really kind of centered around food. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.